Hey guys and welcome back to our F1 Challenge 9902 career mode. It's the 2007 season. It's the Canadian Grand Prix. It's been a very long time since the last episode. And if you want to catch these episodes live as they happen, make sure to check out the link down in the description or the pinned comments below this video. Let's get into this one. Welcome to Formula 1 News of the Week. Raikkonen assumes control. It seemed like Fernando Alonso had full control at Imola until a sudden brake failure left him out of the running. Kimi Raikkonen went on to claim his third career victory along with taking the championship lead. Speed and Piquet at risk. It's been a really tough start to life in Formula 1 for Piquet Jr, who is now at risk of losing his seat. It's also understood that Red Bull are looking at replacing Scott Speed, who hasn't performed well this season. Naughty, naughty Scott Speed. Fantastic debut. On a more positive note, Kamui Kobayashi had a solid debut for Toyota by finishing just outside the points in ninth place. He seems to already be up to speed with his car. Red Bull fast track for Vettel. Sebastian Vettel managed his best result thus far in F1, with a 6th place finish at the San Marino Grand Prix. Reports are stating that Red Bull are looking to bring him up to the Red Bull team for next season. These are my stats of my career mode so far. Look how happy I am. James Early, big smile on his face. A reputation very high. 140 race starts with 30 victories. I'm a pretty good driver. Two world championships, may I add. Two world champions. I am a two-time world champion, aren't I? Two world championships. Here's the entry list for the Canadian Grand Prix. If you forgot all the driver transfers that happened for the 2007 season, please feast your eyes on this list. Now these are the Drivers' Championship standings heading into this round. Kimi Raikkonen has a three-point lead over Fernando Alonso. Jensen Button in third place, one point ahead of fellow British driver James Early. Jano Trulli there in fifth place. My teammate Robert Kubica has 10 points to his name because he won one race and retired from the other four races so far this year. In the Constructors' Championship, it is Ferrari leading McLaren by a whopping 20 points. McLaren only one point ahead of Sauber and only a two points or three points ahead of Honda. Red Bull have scored some good points so far and so have Williams, courtesy of their brand new driver, Lewis Hamilton. Super Aguri, the only team yet to score points. Here we are in qualifying, a 30-minute session to determine the starting grid for Sunday's race. It's dry conditions as well, quite warm. Oh, I've hit a wall. Oh no, damage, damage. I feel like I'm out of my depth. Why is <laughs> my mirror doesn't work? My left mirror is not working. First lap here in qualifying. Out of that chicane, the very famous chicane here in Montreal. Down towards the line. Not a very quick bank lap. It's a 19 flat. We can definitely go quite a bit quicker. You're up at the second oh. Yeah, round we go. We were up by three and a half tenths. It was a really nice lap, but... Alonso's gone to pole an 18.495. He's looking pretty quick. Here we go then. Let's get another lap on the board. Ah, it's happened again. Keep breaking too late there. We do that final chicane. I think it will still be an improved lap time. Maybe. There's, there's potential here. There's potential. Sending it around the final corner. Bit of track extending. It's been a great lap though. This should push me well inside the top 10. Across the line we go. And it's barely an improvement there's still so much time on the table so we're sitting ninth place right now but i know for a fact that third place is up for grabs oh robert is 19th right now there we go then let's put it all on the line with only four minutes left of the session oh pushing hard there car escaping me we turn four trying to take more of those curbs but it's not really working okay we've got one more shot at this one more attempt No, come on! The final corner. We were so far up on that lap. I bottled it at the final corner. Oh, dearie me. Right, I think that could have challenged maybe the front row. So it's Kimi Raikkonen, the new championship leader on pole position, with Alonso alongside him on that front row of the grid. Jarno Trulli and Mark Webber in the Red Bull on the second row. Lewis Hamilton starts up in fifth for Williams alongside his childhood friend, Nico Rosberg. Jensen but Sorry, not Jensen. Jensen Button and David Coulthard on the fourth row, but Barrichello and Early on the fifth. Sebastian Vettel, who's now being tipped at moving to Red Bull for next season, starts from 11th, ahead of the second McLaren of Alexander Wurtz. Ralph Schumacher and Robert Kubica down there in 13th and 14th. I think that's the first time this season Early has outqualified his teammate, first or second. Takuma Sato sets off from 15th ahead of PK Jr. Speed and Subtle, 17th and 18th. Heidfeld 19th, very poor from him in the Renault. Anthony Davidson rounding out the top 20. In the final row of the grid is Christian Albers 
A new boy on the block, Kamui Kobayashi. Maybe beginner's luck has now finally ran out for him. He starts in last place. So we have 70 laps of racing. And the current conditions are dry. Projected are dry. But the actual track is wet. And there's a split between using the wet tyres and the intermediate tyres up and down the grid. So it's a gamble which one pays off. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to go probably for the intermediates, I think. Well, there's only one more thing to do. And that's Go Racing. The 2007 Canadian Grand Prix is next. Right. Let's go for it. Patience is the name of the game at the start. Waiting the lights. And there they are. Three, four, and five. And we are underway here for the Canadian Grand Prix. And the spray is not as extreme as I thought it would be. Down towards turn one we go. Very cautious here on the outside of Rubens Barrichello. The Honda around him up the inside of David Coulthard turn two and suddenly already into the points remember there's a big split between wet tyres and intermediate tyres I think it's already at that point where the intermediates will be faster I've played so much F1 2010 I'm expecting there to be massive rubber banding of course that's not the case we're either going to be keeping up with the AI or we won't be and it'll be that case for the whole race portion down into this hairpin for the first time You'll remember that I think the last couple of years, the AI crashing into that wall on the left-hand side in the Canadian Grand Prix. But we've got a fix for it this year. Well, that's one lap down. We're already a second and a half behind Button. We're just trying to find our feet right now. Build up the confidence. i got to be really careful into the slow corners. Somebody's crashed. First replay. First replay of the day. Right, on board with PK Jr. Under braking. He's fine there. So what happens to him? Oh, what? <laughs> where's he come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> Riding on board with the Toro Rosso. Brake failure. Spins across the track. <laughs> Spins in front of PK Jr. Knocks his own rear wing off. And he's out of the race. No, they all switched to the Inters. Right, update is they all switched to the intermediate tyres before the start of the race. So, sadly, we're not going to jump up any positions. Oh, I've, I've just hit something there. I've got damage. I've got damage from running over some carbon fiber. Ooh. Snapping a little bit there. We're already 17 seconds off the race lead as we start lap eight. I admit the conditions do look bone dry until you see the spray. As long as there's still spray, it's still wet. Lap 10, 4.1 seconds to button ahead. Not got the pace right now. And although it does look quite dry in front, You'll notice behind there's still spray. Although maybe one or two laps out from pitting for dry tyres. Mark Webber, the Red Bull, who's still up near the front, sets the fastest lap of the race. He's got some serious pace right now. What do we think, guys? Maybe get a set of uh, softs on. Maybe increase the front wing angle a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to take the gamble from 8th place. We're going to pit. Right, into the pits we go. A nice entrance there. Gonna get uh, soft tyres on. We're gonna repair some damage, and I forgot to actually increase the. I'm gonna put four clicks on the front wing, and away we go. It was a good quick stop from the BMW Sauber crew. We're going to rejoin down in 15th place here. Car feels okay. First is to monitor the gap to Takuma Sato right in front of me. Good. Right, we are the fastest guy out on track right now, and suddenly McLaren ready in the pits. Ferrari as well, and Honda. So they've seen on the pit wall. Oh, James Early. He's going pretty quick on those soft tyres. And there's Takuma Sato into the pits. A load of drivers into the pits this lap. Vettel. There's Jensen Button. We were behind him before the pit stops. Where are we going to be after the pit stop phase? There's Hamilton into the first corner. Button behind me. We've got the jump on Jensen Button. Oh, and there's somebody going real slow. Who was that? I, I have no idea who that was. Ralph Schumacher out. More drivers into the pits. We're up to seventh. Make that sixth. Could still be seventh. There's Jano Trulli into turn two. He's ahead of me. After the pit stop phase, we have Raikkonen in the lead ahead of Alonso. Barrichello in third, who's boxing this lap. He's still on the intermediates. And it's Mark Webber, who's in a net third place. Followed by Hamilton, Trulli, Early, Button, Nico Rosberg just outside the points. Then it's Coulthard, Heidfeld, Vettel, Kubica, Sato, Kobayashi, Sutil. Verts, the last driver remaining in the race. Five retirements, Ralph Schumacher 
Oh, no, never mind. He, he's still in the race. <laughs> Whoever that is, Davidson, Albers, PK Jr., they're all still in. So it's only Ralph Schumacher and Scott Speed who are out of the race. Because they are so heavy on fuel, though, it means we should be fast for this phase of the race. Alexander Wirtz stuck in gear as Trolley opting to go defensive. Yeah, Weber, he switched to the softs at the time he was supposed to pit, any pit anyway. So he's actually following his pitch strategy and everybody else is pitting earlier than they were supposed to, so they fill up with maximum fuel. Run here on Trolley under the Lenovo sponsorship. McLaren ready in the pits. That'll be for Verts, who's retiring due to gearbox issues. A nice run here down towards the hairpin. Quick look to the inside under braking. And this time, Trolley not defending the inside like he did on the previous lap. Here we go. The slipstream down the back straight. This is what I lowered the front and rear wings for. Oh, gosh! And Verts going slowly. Almost results in a huge crash. Had to be careful there. Had to be alert. Always have to be alert on the street circuit. <laughs> that was close. I'm confident we can climb quite high in this race whilst the uh, the fuel burns off. Mark Webber is still putting in the fastest laps. Rosberg's now the car behind me. What happened to Jano Trulli? Did Jano Trulli lose out due to... Uh, what, Alexander Verts maybe? Hamilton's not on too much fuel. Yeah, Rosberg's quite l l um, low on fuel. Trulli is very, very heavy. We've already pulled like a seven second gap to him. I've basically got the same fuel level as the top two and they're in the mid twenties and I'm in the mid twenties. I'm matching the leader's pace. Out the way, buddy. Christian Alvers making himself a nuisance. There's Mark Webber in the pits for the second time in this race. I think for the time being, we're up to fourth. No, never mind. <laughs> He's ahead of me again, fifth place. 28.8 off the lead. We've lost about three seconds in the past 10 laps. The race leader. Here we are completing 35 laps at Montreal. We're exactly halfway through this race. I think we're definitely in the hunt for a minimum top five. Maybe a podium? Out of the way, Sonny Jim. Thank you very much. All right, it's refreshing seeing AI actually get out of your way. After playing F1 2010, when they just fight you harder if you're lapping them. I'll be boxing next lap. Who? Alonso! Alonso's run out of fuel in the pits! Weber. No, he has not. Did he run out of fuel in the pits? Alonso's run out of the fuel coming into the pits. Fourth. He has not. He has. If everybody runs out of fuel in this race, I will, you will not see another F1 Challenge episode for months. Has lost his front wing. What? has lost his front Uh, so Raikkonen comes into the pits, the race leader, he's got a bit of traffic in front of him, a Super Guri there, and a Toyota. So Raikkonen travelling down the pit lane, this is all good, all fine. He's, get the, he's got the same box as the Toyota, he's got the same box as the Toyota and he lose, he's lost the plot, he's into the pit box. Oh my god, this game sometimes. Who would ever play F1 Challenge? And into the pits we go for our final stop in this one. We're Mark not going to run out of fuel. As Mark Webber now takes the lead of the race. There's Hamilton into the pits. Happy days. Now Raikkonen officially out of this race. Which blows the championship wide open, as Murray Walker says. Good pit stop there. Hamilton back through. We filled up. To the end of this race and we're going to rejoin here in fourth place oh no i've just done a george russell what have i done <laughs> oh dear right heavy fuel so mark webber in the lead of this one after 42 laps he has to pit again of course second place is hamilton so oh rosberg is into the pits now oh gosh silly little spin there we're fine though it's okay guys carry on still in third place mark webber race leader into the pits for what he'd be hoping is the final time in this race. So Mark Webber rejoins from his pit stop in the lead of the race. Mark Webber on course to win here for Red Bull. If you guys have been following my F1 2010 career mode, you'll know we're, we're kind of sick and tired of Mark Webber domination. And now for some reason it's translating over to F1 Challenge. 
Oh, that is very strange. That was very, very strange. The rear just completely snapped, and suddenly we're down to fourth place. I used to smell the brakes back in the 50s. Ah, that motorsport was so nice back in the day. Are the brakes on fire? No, that's Lorenzo Bandini. Oh, J James, you can't say that. Oh. Although there was a lot of tragedy in motorsport back in the day, I would have liked to experience, not the tragedy, but experience motorsport back in that day. Let's do a full race update whilst we're on lap 52. Okay, they all have more fuel than me. So they should be able to get to the end without another pit stop. Mark Webber leads the way. Six seconds ahead of Rocky Lewis Hamilton. Nico Rosberg, his close friend, is in third place. Then it's James Early. Jano Trulli, uh, who's been on a lot of fuel for a long time in this race. He's in fifth place ahead of Heidfeld. Heidfeld, remember, he started down in... No, he didn't. No, I was going to say he started down in 19th, but he didn't, did he? He started somewhere else. Button in seventh place. Coulthard, the final point scorer right now. Then it's Barrichello, Vettel. Kubica, my teammate, only 11th. Kobayashi in 12th. He started in last place. Sato, Sutil, Davidson, Albers, PK Jr. 17 drivers still remaining in this Grand Prix. Rosberg contending with a bit of traffic here. In the final race of this career mode, I want to have a big celebration. I want as many people in the stream as possible. We'll celebrate the... The life and career of the F1 Challenge driver, James Earl. Here we are with less than 10 laps to go. Lap 62 out of 70. And we've been trying to put the pressure on Rosberg for that third place. But to no avail right now. He's still got that position. Here we are, lap 70. Final lap of the race. Going to bring it home, hopefully, in fourth place. Which will be an ex excellent result. Mark Webber crosses the line to win the Canadian Grand Prix of 2007 in a Red Bull. What a fantastic result that is for the Australian. I believe that's his first victory of his career. Lewis Hamilton gets his career best uh, result, second place in his debut season. And Nico Rosberg is going to complete the podium. It's through the final chicane. We go for the final time. Down towards the line, we're going to claim a respectable fourth place finish. Okay, let's do a Robert Kubica crash. I'm going to have to go straight on here. Oh! Oh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't lose the wheels like I thought I would, <laughs> in all honesty. Weber, Hamilton, Rosberg, Early, Heidfeld, Trulli, Button, Kobayashi. Weber, Kamui first. Kobayashi gets his first points Hamilton, in Formula 1. Second. Well done to Kamui. He started last Rosberg, place, remember. Third. Robert Kubica does not score any points. Driver. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to watch it live, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment down below. And you can catch all these races live as they happen. If you did enjoy that one, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed so you never miss an F1 Challenge video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.